Uh, hi, uh, welcome back to Ed Tech Gadgets. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I'm excited. This is my first video. Uh, it took me a while to do the full setup because I was trying to make some changes and hopefully improve on um, the whole setup as well. Um, I'm just going to begin with a uh, uh, swap or upgrade uh, from my Acer Nitro uh, to something that I'm going to reveal in a bit of delay. So I'll keep that suspense going. So what I have for you today is basically I'm going to swap out the upgraded parts of the X Acer X uh, that I have here. Basically I have upgraded the RAM and the SSD. So basically there are two SSD slots. Um, one of them is M.2, M the other one is a SATA, which was actually swapped out um, with, uh, or basically swapped with the HDD SATA 2.5. So, um, without further ado, um, I'm not going to get into the review of this laptop since what we're trying to achieve here is basically to show you how the components can be swapped out and that's basically it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off or shut down this the laptop and then I'm gonna quickly go get into swapping out the parts uh, one other important thing that I would like to mention for any of those uh, thinking of uh, the Acer Nitro 5 as they are potential laptop. Um, this one is one of the last units uh, from the 7th generation which comes with a direct access to the RAM slots and the HDD. Uh, which is one thing that I noticed that the newer generations don't have. You have to open up the entire panel to access these two now if you're going to buy the newer generation. How you basically access the RAM slot. Uh, there are two RAM slots. Um, I believe it allows you to upgrade it to a maximum of 32 GB. So what you see here, the two RAM slots. So one thing I noticed and I was told by some experts that the speed of the RAMs have to be same if you're going to upgrade or if you want to increase the RAM capacity. So the whole point is I was told that um, you need to have the same speed otherwise they will not work together uh, or they will not work well together so it will not serve the purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the 16, leave the 8GB in here which is the original configuration and then Okay, this is gonna take a while and So now I have this tool for the other audiences. So let me show this to you. So this works like a charm without breaking the panel. So you have to be very careful not to touch the panels or the motherboard in the wrong way. There is a little bit of dust on the fan. I'm going to try and clean that up now uh, while I'm at it. And at the same time, I'm going to swap out the internal SSD 
that is right here. Can you imagine how small this is? Yeah, not an ideal glove, but... It's hard to grip. Okay. So if you can see, this is uh, 970 Pro because it still has the original um, for the cleaning process. I would rather do it let gravity help me out now that the cleaning process is out of the way now going back to fixing everything and let me try and do this in the most organized fashion possible with me. Okay, first things first, this panel goes. that kind of crazy or different. I think I have all the screws in place. Yep, and I'm ready to reboot or restart this baby in its original form. And 